Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. Now, today, I'm in Umbria, and I'm on the border of Tuscany, and I literally, the Umbria, Tuscany, it's, it's this much away, this, just this. Cortona is about 30 minutes away. And it's a beautiful windy road that's some just outstanding views. Now, Cita de Castello is about 30 minutes away. And that's a really nice Umbrian town. And the nearest town to here for shops and amenities is a little town called Trestina, and that's 12 minutes away. Now, this property is absolutely fantastic. I think that's the word of the day. Um, and what we have here is two beautiful buildings. One is used as a guest house, which is this one here. And then one is used as a permanent residency. And it is just <laughs> great. Now, by the time I finish this tour, I expect you're going to be sending me an email because you want further information. You ready? Let's go. Thank you. Right then, here we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through these linen curtains, which I like a lot. And the moment the camera will adjust, you will see this quite incredible, quite incredible vista. Now, I'm just going to come forward and uh, show you the garden. The land itself is 0.5 of a hectare so that's about 1.1 acres and what a beautiful view that is what i can see in the distance is the apennines and if i pull the camera down i have a whopper of a swimming pool which is 16 meters by six um, and it is a salt water pool but i mean this i mean this terrace is uh, <laughs> This terrace has done it for me virtually immediately. I mean, look at the view from here. Just absolutely stunning. I'm just gonna pull back a little bit so you can get the full vista of that view. What a lovely outdoor space this is to hang out in the evening. Just beautiful. 20th of September today, about 28 degrees fluffy clouds, such a beautiful time of the year. Okay, so in we go. So you immediately come in to a lovely size reception room and there's going to be a little bit of echo and if I pull up, you can see basically it is in a Tuscan style, the ceiling and it's being plastered and as I have mentioned on many of my videos, I don't really mind that. Now, all the windows are double glazed and you have very nice terracotta flooring, which as we go through the house, I am going to show you. We're gonna go downstairs on the outside in a moment, but I think I'm going to do the upstairs first. So as we come through, immediately you're presented with a bathroom very simple, shower, sink, and as I come down, you will see it has a bidet and a toilet with the seat down. <laughs> and then if we come through into bedroom one, and I will immediately tell you that this is a new roof, which is being put on. Uh, with new beams and they've been cut in an old style but they look jolly nice and they've got terracotta tiles and then there's terracotta on the floor. Now there are two independent gas central heating systems for both houses and the other house has underfloor heating but we will get there in a moment. Now, as the camera adjusts from this bedroom and we go out and we look at just a lovely view and you've got a, you know, you've got a castle in your foreground and mountains 
in the distance. What more does one want? What a lovely terrace that is. Right, coming back through the door. And I'm just going to pull the camera around. I haven't opened that window, but you will have lovely light streaming through there because that is facing south. Now, moving forward, on this level there are three bedrooms. Was it two? Two bedrooms, two bedrooms. It's upstairs on the other house of three bedrooms. Two bedrooms and two bathrooms. And again, you have a really nice sink. Now, I have been told that the well is a little over 100 meters deep and they have masses of water. Now, if you've been to it this year or if you have been watching the news, you will know that it has been scorchier, absolutely roasty all year. Um, and I've spoken to the owners and they said this year, um, and they've had many weeks of rental and they've had absolutely no problems with water at all. Now, do you see the door on the right hand side? I want you to make a little note of that because when we get outside, although that these are two separate buildings, I mean, if one wanted to have a single house, there is a possibility of connecting the two properties. Now, if I pull the camera up, you can see that this bedroom has the original wooden beams and they are just beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Right, that is the ground floor, depending where you come in from, um, or the first floor of the guest house and I'm going to now come back so you can get your bearings we have bedroom bathroom on the right hand side second bathroom on the right and that beautiful bedroom with uh, that exquisite big terrace Right, down the stairs we go. Very nice, and a very nice color metal railings coming down. I do like that. Right. Living room and kitchen. Beautiful arch. And again, this has had quite an extensive restoration because I can see new beams. They look like oak to me. And they've been treated. And then as you come through, through this beautiful arch, you have another sitting area with a far reaching view, looking over the mountains towards Marque. We're going to go out into the garden area in a minute, but I just want to give you the return so you can see the fully fitted kitchen. Now there was a big fridge as we came into the room on the left hand side and I can see an oven, a dishwasher to the left of the oven and a four burning hob. Walking down the hallway, this is the stairs to the left, which I just came down. 
There's the gas boiler on the left hand side. And to the right of me, I have bedroom number three with a bath and ensuite. Very simple tiles, no bidet. A nice glass door leading out into the garden area. And this room is perfect for children as it has twin beds. A little bit of flare you got coming through the window. The light differentiation between the two is quite a lot. And if we come down further down into the last bathroom, and this one has a bidet and a shower. And if I pull back and pull across into bedroom number four, and you've got two singles, I suppose they could be pulled together if you wanted to have a double. And then another door, which leads directly out to the garden. And we are going to see whether we can go out there. But first of all, I'm just going to pull down and I just want to show you. If I run my finger along there, you can see that that's probably about 25 mil. And that's absolutely fantastic for double glazing. Right. Again, <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. Um, <laughs> and then you've got the super duper terrace. Really is gorgeous. Barbecue area. Now there's a 20,000 litre water tank, which is storing the water from the roof, which is used in the summer months for irrigation. just going to come down to the swimming pool. Now there's family staying here at the moment. I'm not going to go all the way down to the pool but I'm just going to pull down so you can see that. That is a salt water swimming pool 16 meters by six. Yeah it's got a nighttime cover. That's really beautiful. What a lovely spot. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. And then if I come round and I show you the back of the house, you might get a bit of flair. Just coming into frame now is basically the beautiful terrace. You can see the other terrace and the back of the property. Right, wow, house number one, gorgeous. Let's get him to house number two. Right, I just cut that because I know it's a one take property tour, but it was just too far to uh, go back out and come back out, go up and come back out again. Now then, look, house number two. And first thing I need to show you is basically there are a couple of other houses which are around as well. And just that you can see the road driving up and that goes up to a magnificent, magnificent house. And it is called the Devil House. <laughs> How fantastic. Um, now, if I pull back here and we're going to go into uh, the main house, I'm just gonna pull back and show you. And if you can see the beautiful curtains where we came in on the left hand side and I asked you to remember a door as we walked into the second bedroom um, on the I'm going to call it the upper floor and that is the door there now here you have this beautiful lodger which is just gorgeous but subject to planning there might be a possibility of creating 
a glass walkway and putting glass panelling either side of that portico and you'll be able to get direct access into the second building. Now there is quite a lot of sunlight directly on me at this moment in time so I hope we don't get a lot of flare but I am now going in to show you the second house. Lovely stonework and in we go. The gate to the left of me is where the gas boiler is and then we walk into the entrance hall and boot room and then you've got a absolutely lovely mixture of bare stone and plastered walls. The staircase we're going to go up to in a minute and I'm going to come in and just come down two stairs and show you the living room and the kitchen. And again, what a beautiful arch. Well, in fact, there's two. Now to the right is a wood burning stove. And as I mentioned at the other house, this main house has underfloor heating. And again, you've got your living room and I'm going to pop the camera so that it can adjust so you can just see the stunning vista of the Umbrian countryside. Let's get the return. Now this is a family home which is lived in all year round and you will expect to see things that you know you would one would normally see living in house full time. What a lovely view that is. Really nice kitchen and then here if I come to the right and I just come into this room here You've got glass windows on one side, French doors on the other, and that door in front of me is the door leading out to the portico. So you are suddenly getting an idea of actually how easy it would be to connect both properties if you wanted just one substantial house. Again, if I pull up here, very nice mottle colors on the wall. Well, not mottled, but can you see the original beaming beams? Yeah, jolly nice. Handcrafted doors. Internet throughout the two buildings. And then if we come back into the kitchen area, You have a central kitchen, lots of storage, cooker, hob, dishwasher, washing machine, and I will guarantee you that basically this one here is the refrigerator. Now there was a big larder which was just to the right of the kitchen. And then we're going to go back into the hallway coming up and it's, you know, it's, it's rustic, it's beautiful. And I get down here and I'll show you, you know, the tiles and these are reclaimed tiles. And I know that because they have, some of them have been painted and they would have been used as roof tiles at some stage. And the architect who started the restoration project of this house is a very talented chap. Now I'm going to show you the messy room. And I think it's, which is important. And as I come around here on the ground floor level, 
there is a downstairs cloakroom. Beautiful light coming in through the window. No bidet, nice sized shower. And then you have a toilet and a sink, but no bidet. And here in this room is an additional bedroom, but it's been used as storage. Lots of cupboards everywhere. Just the things that, you know, one needs extra single beds and all these other bits and pieces. A little bit of an office going on. And then we are now going to come back into the hallway and I'm going to take you up the stairs. Now there is another entrance that one can come into the first floor level. For those of you who have been to Italy, these rustic farmhouses normally have an additional stairs as the majority of the people used to live on the first floor level and use the other ones or the ground floor as storage. There's a couple of Velux windows letting light in and I can see a thermostat on the left hand side and then coming into bedroom one that's a really nice kids bedroom storage Bathroom with shower, bath, bidet, sink, and a jolly nice vista. And I think, yeah, absolutely. We're gonna we're gonna pull out. We're gonna push across the bath, and hopefully, I can get there. Now you can see the other house and the views of well, what is Umbria and Tuscany. Just turning to the right. And if I come down, you've got, what are we now? Four, five, six. Bedroom six. Really very nice Victorian bed. And again, a lovely vista looking out over the countryside. Lots of storage on the left hand side and then a long hallway. Nice proportioned uh, areas, the hallway is nice and big, uh, the ceiling heights are nice for a first floor, you've got a little stove, has additional heating. And as we come further down, then you have another bathroom, bathrooms everywhere, and a bath, bidet toilet and sink. And then finally, Well, bedroom six or bedroom seven, again with a beautiful view leading out. If I lift up, you can see that you've got here original beams and tiles. And I think that's just jolly nice. So you've got two beautifully big livable houses, one for full-time living and one which is set up as a business. Uh, lovely proportioned rooms, 
not too far away from amenities and shops. Now I'm going to get down the stairs and then I'm going to give you a little bit more information. Right then. 105 meters, the well. And the owner told me it's had great water and it didn't run out this year. And if it didn't run out this year, it's never going to run out. Treston is the nearest town for shops. Um, two really good supermarkets. Uh, and that's about 12 minutes away that way. Cortona, beautiful town in Tuscany. Half an hour that way. Cida Castello, um, Etruscan, uh, Roman, uh, medieval, beautiful Umbrian town. 30 minutes that way. Whopper, 16 meter by six swimming pool. Heated. Solar, nighttime cover, salt water. Secluded, just gorgeous. The guest house, making on average per annum 25,000 euros before tax. This building, 220 square meters. That building, 240 square meters. Potentially, as I mentioned, there might be the possibility of joining the two houses together. And the price, 900,000 euros. Now, I think that's cheap. I don't know about you. Comments below. <laughs> my name is Nick Rand and these are my Italian one take property tours. If you have subscribed to this channel, I cannot thank you enough. We are now at 67,000 people and it really does mean a great deal to me. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, just push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon on the next One Take Property Tour. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.